What up, my beautiful peoples? Welcome to another episode of Rizzy Talks, where we talk about anything and everything. In today's video, we're talking about the hardworking people, the slackers, and the ones that claim there's no jobs out there, but aren't they even looking? Let's go! What up, peoples? First, I want to say about the DC challenge that I've been doing. I effed up. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, I was working at my job yesterday, and uh, we had to take, you know, a lot of uh, kids out to a basketball game. I was sitting there for probably a good four or five hours. It went into overtime, and I started my day at six in the morning, ended my day around about five. I was extremely, extremely hungry. My wife had got off of work. She came out there to spend some time with me and they had food there. So we went ahead and purchased some food there. Um, I got steak and cheese sub and some fries. And my wife, what did you get? Chicken tenders and fries. She really loved the fries. So she ended up getting another large fry. I ended up getting another sub. Yes, you heard it right. Two subs, fries, chicken tenders, two things of fries. We messed up. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna tell you guys when I mess up. I mean, I'm not happy about it, so I messed up two ways. I messed up as far as uh, spending money and not eating right. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna dwell on that. So let you guys know, I'm back on it. I'm still going strong. And uh, let's get to what we, what you guys came here for this video for. Now, first I want to say, there's a lot of hardworking people out there. I'm a hard worker. My wife is definitely a hard worker. And I just honestly believe a lot of the hard workers out there don't get credit. Uh, some of them get shitted on. Um, and then you get these slackers that don't do a lot of work, but somehow they get to keep the job. They don't get yelled at as much. They always taking time off or uh, what, leaving early. Showing up late. So you're showing up late. But when you do it and you're a hard worker, the boss is on your ass. I want to know if any of you guys deal with this at your jobs. And we just want to talk a little bit about um, people who claim there's no jobs out there. Now, I admit, you know, depending on what field you're in, it's hard to look for a job. But if you're looking for a job just to make some money until you can get to the job that you want, it's always McDonald's, always Burger King, Fast food places are always hiring. So when somebody tells me there's no jobs out there, it's not that there's no jobs out there, it's no jobs that you wanna do. But once again, it comes down to the slackers. I feel as though that a lot of people that get jobs that don't really wanna work, like the younger generations, they don't, they get the job and then five minutes later, they quit in the job because they don't like the work that they gotta do, because they don't wanna lift a finger. Well. We can't, really can't blame the younger generation. I know, but that's mainly like this. When we were young, kids. we didn't want to work. Well, no, that's a little different. I was yeah, when I was young. Always I always worked. Yeah, yeah, we, we did always work. We met each other young. Uh, I was 19, my wife was 17, and we've been working hard ever since then. So when we say new generation, we mean you know the new younger crowd because when we were young, we worked our asses off, and we continue to work our asses off every day, not only for ourselves or for our, for our kids, but just the way that we are, we're hard workers. And we're showing our kids that we're hard workers. Uh, you know, my wife had worked two jobs for, what, a year? Almost, oh, just under a year. Just under a year, we're, you know, two jobs, working overtime, I'm working two jobs now, and I'm going back to finish my, uh, my to get my associate's degree in a couple of weeks, so, you know, we're hard workers, so we're just talking about from 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 our perspective. I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. If you got a slacker at your job that seems to get away with everything, or if you are the slacker, let me know. If you are if you are the slacker, hey, let, let me know. I mean, 
ain't gonna lie, sometimes I do slack, but I consider myself well-rounded. I'm a hard worker, I show up on time, I'm loyal, you need something done, I'm gonna get it done, that's just, that's just me. I don't complain much, you know, I just wanna get in, make my money, and breathe out as I work on my future outside of work, you know. Um, there's just there's tons yeah. of jobs out there that will work with you, give you different hours, train you in whatever you need to be trained in. I got laid off in October, the end of October. Got laid off a good job. I didn't know what to do. But you bulked down. Yeah. You put in applications, and let me say this, guys: internet not always the way to go. Nope. You can put your resume out there, but my wife got sick of it. She said, take me to the job. I took her to the spot. She got the interview, and now she's working there because not only did she do that on the, on the internet, she went to the job. The feet work. Nobody understands feet work anymore. You know, if you put an application in, they're not calling you back anymore. Oh, they're not calling me back. I already put the application in online. Go to the job. Actually speak to the manager, tell them what your name is, tell them you put a application in, for what position you put it on, you put it in for, and ask them, hey, are you guys still hiring? I'm willing to work, you know? I'm willing to be, become a part of your, your team, and uh, just let you know, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready to go if you're still hiring for that position. Now, when you got a lot of applications, or you're looking for somebody, the one you think about most, if you come in and show me your face and your name, when I go to look at the applications, you're the first one I'm gonna think about. It may call you in first, you may get the job because of that. It could be the reason why my wife got the job. She went in there, you know, tell, showing them, hey, I want this job, I'll put it in. I wanna know if you guys are still hiring. You know, and they're like, okay, you're taking an extra step. Make that, sure you have a resume too. Yeah, yeah, definitely make sure you have a full resume. There's, uh, you can go on YouTube, look out how to do one. I know that there's programs everywhere around that, that are free that can show you how to make resumes. But um, yeah, make sure you have a resume. You know, make sure you, 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 you're you groomed well. I shouldn't have to say this. Should be common sense, but uh, but common sense is not so common. You know, no make sure you're pajamas. groomed. Huh? No pajamas. Yeah, no pajamas. I mean, you ain't gotta go in for guys. You ain't gotta go in with a full suit. But have a nice little button up top, maybe with a pair of jeans some sneaks on look clean look presentable shave brush your teeth put some cologne on you know this is this is their first impression of you you want to make it good you want to make it last and so they can be like, man you know what that, that guy's clean cut seemed like he want to work he came in he did he did everything on the line and he came in and he still he wants his job let me give him a call and see see what he's about one last thing i just want to throw in here is you know life is beautiful situations that suck when you guys are down, you lose your job, you get laid off, business go under. I've been a part of three businesses that went under and I hopped into another job right away. Why? Because I was determined. You know, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna provide for my family. My wife was the same way. When her job laid her off, or she didn't like a job, she didn't just quit that job. She went out and searched for another job that she liked, that she, that, that she wanted and went for it as she was working. You know, sometimes you gotta work two jobs to get by for a while. She did it for a whole year before she found a job that combined the two jobs together as one. You know, sometimes you gotta do that. You know, I hate when I hear people saying, oh man, I ain't working on two jobs, I ain't doing that. Do you know what nothing out of life? Nothing's gonna be given to you. You gotta go out there and you gotta get it. For those of you out there who don't know about my DC challenge, hit the link below. Put a comment down below if any of this hits home. If you know any slackers, if you're a hard worker, if you're looking for a job, if you've been laid off, and you know what it goes through, I love y'all once again. Until next time, peace. Y'all already know it's your boy Rizzy. 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 Rizzy.